So one of the next things you're going to have on your roof is once you get into wiring is you're going to have a transition, transition box called a junction box. In the solar industry we typically call it a solar deck and what it does is it just allows you to transition from the outside of your house through your roof and into your attic space. So this is the easy solar deck. Um, we're going to show you how to install it. First thing you want to do when you're installing this is kind of find your mark where you're going to put it. We like to have it underneath a panel um, so it's kind of hidden and you don't have to run extra cable. One of the things you need to keep in mind is you have trusses every 24 inches on center so you want to try and make sure you don't have it lined up where trusses are where you're going to pass cable through. So the next step going in your roof with your, uh, your junction box or our solar deck we call it. This is an easy solar deck is once we find our mark where we're going to put it, we like to carry it through two courses, just like you would a standard roof vent. Uh, you want to keep with those roofing policies. So one of the neat things too with these is actually have a cover and it's actually your perfect template for your mark. So I was like, pull that out of the way and I'll keep that same piece of chalk that I had from last time and I'll mark out exactly where I'm going to be cutting. And so there's a couple ways you can do this. I always use my roofing knife. It's got a hook blade on the end. Uh, some guys like to use snips too. It's a little easier to make sure you're not cutting through the shingle below. And so I'll just lift these couple shingles first. Just to make my cuts a little easier. And if you're using the newer architectural shingles, there's two layers on some parts. I always like to cut through that double layer first and then I'll cut through the single layer. So that'll be our first one. As you can see there's kind of one nail sitting in there. Just like to pop that one out. And you can check and see the nail course for shingles is usually just on those edges. And so you just want to check and see if there's any that you might have to lift. This one we were fortunate I think and we won't have to lift anything. And you can always just slide it in make sure it's going to fit. I like to have just a little bit of a space for water to run, but a quarter inch is good. And so that's gonna be your pre-cut stuff. So we know it fits. A couple more things we're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to drill some holes for our wire to go through, and we're just gonna have to tar the edge before we do that. Though we wanna make sure our holes are drilled through the roof deck and through the flashing. And so we'll jump into that next. Okay, so the next step that we're gonna have uh, installing our solar junction box, or our solar deck we call it, uh, is drilling holes. So how many holes do I have to drill and that kind of thing? Uh, one, you're always going to have one for your ground wire and then your next hole is going to be for any strings you might have. What's a string you say? So this section we're installing 10 solar panels. The string is basically the positive and negative end of each end of that set of panels. So we're going to have 10 panels all connected to each other. The start of one is going to be your negative end and the other end is going to be your positive. So we're going to make sure that those are going to come into our junction box and then we're gonna have a transition going back to our inverter. So we're gonna drill those holes. So this particular system, we have a ground and one string. So we're gonna drill the holes to be able to allow those to come through. Yeah, so basically we just pre-drill until we just touch the inside edge with the carbide teeth of the bit. Then we're gonna slide it out of the way and we got our two holes that we just marked and we're gonna drill right through the wood. Yeah, so the next part, once you kind of have your pilot and your hole just tapped into the shingles, then you're going to use your hole saw to make your bigger hole saw for the connector to fit. Try and be a little more graceful with that. All 
All right, well, we got a piece of wood to grab from the attic. So we're gonna drill our second hole. All right, now we got our two holes. So this will just finish through. little holes. All right, so now we have our, our smaller holes through the top for the connectors, and we have our larger holes for the cable to be able to fit and, and tighten down with your connectors. And so we'll be able to slide that in, make sure everything fits nicely. She lines up. Okay, so now that we have our holes drilled, we just do a kind of final touch to seal everything. Always like to seal the outside edge of your flashing. Just putting a little consistent bead of tar all the way around. This is gonna reseal your shingles down so they're not gonna lift on you. And then I also like to have just a little bit on the back side as well. Let's make sure that tar is gonna stick. All the way around the outside of the holes. So if water ever does get through, it's gonna to touch that bead of sealant and run to the outside, not to where you have your holes drilled. We'll just nestle this in here nicely and try and not get tar on ourselves. It's always the goal. our perfect quarter inch gap. So the final step of installing our roof junction box, easy solar deck, is uh, you just put the screws on the inside of the box and it'll hold it in place. You do want to be careful not to over tighten as it is just a polycarbonate kind of plastic box. And if you over tighten, you can crack it. Now she's in. And you still have a few extra screws for the cover. So before you pull your, your wire and stuff, I always like to just throw the screws in the box just to make sure I don't lose them. And I'll leave my cover on until I start pulling cable. Mm -hmm. 